In today's FX markets, let's take a look at the Japanese yen as it's realizing some selling pressure today. We're seeing the Japanese yen lower now three out of the last four trading sessions. And today's price action is pushing it back down towards the lower end of the recent range. Uh, so we are seeing it trending back down towards the levels that it was trading at last week uh, when you look at the recent price action. And I think when you look at some of the driving factors today, a lot has to do with uh, the treasury markets uh, repricing uh, expectations here moving forward. We do get the Fed minutes tomorrow, but we are seeing uh, some selling pressure on the back end of the curve today, pushing those yields higher. And I think as those yields are moving higher throughout the session, uh, we are seeing the Japanese yen realizing some weakness here. And um, we did have some data points this morning, uh, capacity utilization, industrial production, which were a little bit better than expected. Uh, but really didn't have too significant of impact on the uh, yen. Uh, actually, we did see the yen come off the uh, lows uh, after the release of those data points. So overall, I think the one of the primary driving factors today is the shifting dynamic within the Treasury markets and having an impact on the U.S. dollar and therefore having an impact on some of these pairs trades today. So now when you look at the Japanese yen, I do want to point out that when we did see uh, the recent uh, peak in early August, uh, we are now seeing uh, what is potentially a lower high uh, as we are now drifting back down towards the lower end of the recent range. So uh, a couple of uh, sessions ago, we did see the Japanese yen move higher, but now the selling pressure of the three out of the last four days has pushed it back down towards the lower end of this recent range. We haven't taken out the lows from last week, but we are drifting down that way. So that's something that I'm keeping a watch on. Also, uh, just looking at the general trends today, the dollar is off the highs, but we did see the dollar pushing back up towards that 107 level intraday. And when you look at the uh, major uh, currency futures markets today, really the only one showing uh, strength relative to the U.S. dollar is the Canadian dollar today. We're seeing a little strength there. But across the board, primarily we're seeing uh, unchanged to some weakness in the other pairs trades when you look at the major uh, currency markets today highlighted by the Japanese yen, which is realizing uh, more selling pressure than some of the other uh, major currency FX markets in today's price action.